Hi hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to do another video, this time Sacred Six number three from Dynamite Comics. Have thanks, we'll travel. Uh, again, uh, beautiful Lucio Parillo sexy girl cover. I have all the covers of Lucio Parillo from this series because I like his art. Looks really cool. Um, so again, we're going to continue from the last issue and it's just a little bit as convoluted. Well, less convoluted than the last issue, but convoluted nonetheless. But hey, I hope I can translate it very well in this video. I mean, I'm trying to do that. That's my job. Well, not really a job because I'm not getting paid for this. So <laughs> without further rambling, let's go. Um, so we start in Egypt again, and then we see the queen. Um, the queen Samira is getting raped by, or, you know, try to get raped or will be raped by uh, by this black dude. And uh, she tries to defend themselves. And then that brute here recognizes that Samira is his queen and that he is one of his hers lo loyal soldiers um, because she is having herself captured or something while trying to assassinate uh, a baby that went wrong. She cut her hair and she is, uh, you know, being held captive. But now um, with the brute here, he kills the, uh, the slave owner and they are going outside and she says, hey, are you alone here? And... Uh, is there more people here? And he says, no, 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 I'm alone. And then she kills him because he says, um, drunk on duty, whoring, and no one must know of my true mission. And um, so basically he kills her. And then he goes, she goes back to her squadron that are waiting in the desert. And she says, um, Tyrion and the baby Pharaoh are dead, which is a lie. But um, it's it's, you know, they are dead, and, and then she can rule something or somehow. And um, this is the art by Jay Lee. And the problem with this comic is, is that, you know, there's a couple of artists. Let me double check. Um, illustration by Jay Lee and Julius Ota. Christopher Priest is a writer. I must say Christopher Priest is, is a good writer, but I don't know really like what's going on here. But uh, Jay Lee, just, just a couple of pages, maybe four Five, maybe max, and then the other one takes over. I'm not really mine, but, you know, I wish there was one artist, you know, doing all the work. Or maybe do 50-50, but that's it. That's my probably my only gripe. So, uh, skipping a few pages, we'll see here, covers. Oh, yeah, and then we uh, go to Nyx. Uh, Nyx is uh, explaining to this little girl who is being left alone by her mother because she's, I don't know, went to the toilet or something. This is feel this dialogue feels a little bit odd. So she has a scepter and she's going through the security from the airplane thingy from the I don't know how you say that in English, but when you can get on the board of the plane. Um and then that person that grabbed it out of the bag disappears, but no one saw it except for the little girl here. And she's in shock. So Nick says, talking to herself or talking to the little girl, I'm not entirely sure. She says, I fell in love with a little boy. I didn't mean to. There is something about small humans and an emotional spec uh, infection, like a paper cut. And she explains that she is a, a fire demon from another dimension. Her father was a, a, a god or a half god or a mad god. And she was a child of rape, half human, half monster. And the scepter that she has, you know, draining the life force out of people, basically killing them um, to f refresh the mortal shell that she is wearing. Um, and But also says that with the humanity comes human vulnerability, loneliness, a cloying sense of morality and susceptible to cute kids. I'm a little bit disturbed by that. I mean, are you trying to sell me that you are pedo? Are you are you are you a, a predator? Because you are explaining to yourself that you are fell in love with a little boy. Is that you know when you are younger, you're not saying that because that's not the context of this conversation, and you are susceptible to cute little kids. I don't know what to make of it, but it feels wrong somehow. But then she talks a little bit further about Lilith and that she wants to kill Lilith because we've been tricked about murdering Vampirella, her daughter, and that 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 went wrong, etc. 
So there's a backstory while Nyx is hating um, Lilith and the children. So we, we see the fallout uh, of that a little bit later. So then we skip to um, to a new Draculina. Uh, that's this black girl. Uh, she's been, I believe, transformed by Vampirella. And she has been taken the name Draculina because uh, Lilith said so that she's become the new Draculina. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, this is basically in the past, I believe. No, no, it's not in the past. I'm, I'm confused. Sorry. Um, so she's basically a young kid. And this girl is, you know, uh, has a crush of her. They had sex with each other. And this girl, 19 years old, has, is deeply religious and... Um, and she talks about the missing boys, man. The, well, the boys are still missing. And she thinks that because they, those two have sinned, the boys are missing and that is God punishing them for that, which is, of course, ridiculous. But that's what she thinks in her head. And then she has a breakdown because, you know, Draculina was you know, saying the same thing as me. She said, uh, God did not kill those little two kids because I went down on you, etc. And she has the breakdown. So there's a nice moment here, but you see her face. There's something going on. Then, skip a few pages. We go into oh, one page. Then we see that the gardener, who is part of the other part of the story, looking for the missing kids because the government are, or the governor is sending a patrol to uh, Ashwan City and they don't want that because if they cannot find these two not find the little girl uh, little boys then there's going to be an investigation and then the police will find out in the state that there are monsters in their town and then probably eradicate them so they try to prevent that and then he figured it out somehow that there was never any the there, there was no missing boys that it was a ruse or something uh, by someone and uh, then he punches a uh, tree and then Somehow he uh, apologizing to the tree because he hurt the little tree. He's a tree hugger. Um, makes no sense. But hey, here we go. Then we go skip to, um, I must say, before I just go on and go on, uh, I have a mixed, I have a mixed bag when, with the art. I like the art, um, but with all of, a lot of Dynamite comics, there's a lack of, how do you say, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I forget spontaneously. I'm sorry. Um, immersion. But in this case, the immersion is good. It's it's the right amount of immersion. We see that he is in a forest. We see that she is here outside at a seminar, a seminar or how do you say it? And we see here Nick's at the airport. That's the word I was looking for earlier. So the immersion is good. But the art is not really selling me. But it's not bad. Uh, I actually can say it's good, but I don't know. Maybe it's not for me. I must, uh, I'm not criticizing the art. The art is, I think, good, but not my kind of art. And, uh, maybe that's a little bit contradicting about what I'm saying, but I don't know. I just cannot get into the art somehow. Go ahead. There is a council meeting between you know the, the, the six, the humans, uh, and the monsters. And it seems that, skipping now a few pages... Can I see that? So we see here that the police is now getting involved and they are, you know, searching the missing boys. They asking questions, holding uh, people accountable or something. And they like to come to agreement, the, 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 the monsters and the humans. Uh, and they starting to uh, making a plan for you know avoiding being detected by the humans and um, that's going to be in another issue like i said it's all a little bit short mini stories that tells just a lot a little bit amount that you get you know hooked and then it goes on to the next character to the next character to the next character it is um how do you say it takes me out of the out of the out of the story but i know why they do it so i'm not really disturbed by that but i can't see why people doesn't like this kind of storytelling. So now we skip to Vampirella because they found her and she is crying and this is a mother and it seems that um, Lilith has, you know, she come from Draculon and they have, she made a lot of children and Vampirella is the last. And we see here all the makeup, you know, um, 
you know, on her eyes because of the crying. But then here, yeah, the makeup is gone because, yeah, screw continuity or something. Nothing matters. And uh, these, uh, these real quote-unquote vampires uh, have uh, um, argue with each other because uh, they claim that they are the real vampires and, you know, people that come from Draculon, they see as uh, not really undead extraterrestrial space travelers that doesn't count as a vampire. But something happens in, in between, or after that, I mean, and that's this. The, the building is getting exploded and Vampirella and all the other people are getting blasted out. And the last thing she says, well, there's a page after that that we're not going to show, but uh, they are getting attacked by Nyx. And that's basically the end of the book. Um, so, yeah, finally Nyx showed up. Finally, there's action. Finally, there's some kind of a confrontation. I like that. I like the shock on her face. Um, I like that, you know, has a ripped off leg because of the explosion. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, so I, I, a little bit, you know what, I'm taking back what I said earlier about the immersion because I like what I'm seeing, you know, having here the explosion and then also bit by bit what's happening with the text and the explanation in the middle. I love that. So, um, yeah, that's basically also the end of the book. And we see, of course, the beautiful covers uh, of Lucio Perillo and other people. So, yeah, is it a recommend? Yeah, for now, yes. I like the series, although I don't like the pacing of the book. Uh, the art is, like I said, good. The story is a little bit all over the place, but not too convoluted, but also convoluted. I know I know that, that I'm speaking against myself. I, I contradict myself a lot, but like I said, the flow of the, of the story is not really uh, enjoyable. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. So... Yeah, and uh, that brings me to the end of the video. Or There is a lot of other comics from this series. I'm going to try to review them one by one. And um, so I hope you stick around and like this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.